Hi and welcome to Tech 160. Today we're going to be going over how to enable SSH and BNC on your Raspberry Pi so that you can connect remotely from your computer. And this will eliminate the need for a dedicated monitor for your Pi. So to configure your Pi initially, you will need a monitor and keyboard so that you can see what you're doing. But you will go to the terminal and enter sudo raspy-config and press enter. And it's going to bring up this screen here. You're going to move the cursor down to interfacing options and press enter. Next, you're going to highlight SSH and press enter. And then it asks if you would like to enable it. Press enter again to select yes. And it just lets you know that it's enabled. And then you're going to do the same thing for VNC. Highlight it, enable it. Okay. And while you're in here, Go to localization options and change your time zone if you haven't already done so. Alright, so next you're going to want to get your IP address. Select finish to get out of here. And then you're going to want to type ifconfig. Depending on how you're connected, you can decide which IP you're looking for. If you're connected by Ethernet, it's going to be under ETH0. So scroll to find it. And as you can see, my IP address is right here. If you're on wireless, you're going to look for WLAN0. Alright, so while you're at it, don't forget to to do app get update and then finally you're going to want to sudo reboot to make sure everything takes effect I don't need a reboot so I'm just going to exit close this screen. Alright, so now you can go to your computer and finish setting up. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to putty.org and you're going to click the link where it says download here. Once redirected you can choose your download package. I chose the MSI because I'm using Windows and you can pick 32 or 64 bit depending on your operating system. If you're not sure, there's a link right here. Once downloaded, install it and then run it. When you initially launch Putty, it's going to bring you to this screen here and you have to put in the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. Make sure SSH is enabled and then press open. Now enter the username for your Raspberry Pi. By default, it is Pi. And then press enter. And now it's going to ask you for your password. So whatever password you have set for your Raspberry Pi, enter it now. And that's it. You're up and running with SSH. For VNC, you have to go to realvnc.com and select download. Right up here at the top, select download, and then whichever platform you're connecting from, that's what you're going to choose here, and then download the executable. So I would choose Windows, and then download. Uh, once downloaded, you're going to run it to install, and then launch it.
I got an old connection in there, which I will delete. So when you open VNC, it's going to look like this. Again, you're going to enter your IP address right here in the bar and press enter. And it's just looking for the username and password for your Raspberry Pi. Once you put this in, press OK. And that's it. You can use it just like you were sitting in front of it, even though you're at your own computer. This is especially useful in a situation like mine, where the Pi is connected to one of the TV inputs. So if someone was watching the TV, I'd be out of luck if I needed to log into it. So this is the perfect solution. It's also nice to be able to connect to it from anywhere outside of your network if you're running a VPN server in your house as well. I had the Pi VPN running on this one. Well that's it, nice and easy. If you found this useful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.